In a previous video, we put sugar in the fuel tank of an engine to see if the engine would self-destruct. While the engine did catch on fire at one point, the engine did survive and did just fine. Pretty funny video. This time, we're going to do something very similar. At viewer's request, we're going to see what will happen if we use honey, or sugar in this case, as an engine oil substitute. Will the engine survive or will it cause massive destruction? Now, obviously, you would never want to do this to your own vehicle or your own engine, but if someone did this to get even with you or in a form of retaliation, would it cause significant damage? Or possibly, if you're in an extreme emergency situation and you had to choose between using nothing in the crankcase at all or using honey, would you be better off with honey? So we have a couple of unanswered questions, but by the end of the video, we'll have some answers. We're gonna see how well honey flows when it's below 31 degrees Fahrenheit. It's extremely cold inside this freezer, and we're also gonna compare it with 10W30. So does honey offer any sort of lubricating properties at all? We're about to find out using this lubricity tester. I've tested and measured all types of different additives and oil products to determine their ability to lubricate. It's going to be interesting to compare honey against 10W30. So if you have questions about how the lubricity tester works, I put together a video on that a while back. The bearing on the right is honey and the bearing on the left is 10W30 and as you can see the amount of scoring on each one of these bearings is about the same so maybe this honey is going to work quite well inside the crankcase of an engine. Go to measure out the honey just to make sure I get enough in there. The honey is literally boiling inside the crankcase. This thing is hot. The engine's totally locked up, so we're gonna see how much force it takes to get this engine to spin over. Looks like it moved at about 65.5 foot-pounds of torque. I'm gonna add a little Marvel Mr. Oil to the crankcase, see if we can get this engine to spin over. Looks like some burnt honey on the dipstick. I'm gonna spray down the cylinder wall as well as the valves with some deep creep. I 
I've been working with the intake valve for a while. I think I've got it loosened up where it'll close on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this engine over and we'll see how it's doing. We got the engine spinning over. I think we can get this going. This has suddenly become a showdown between Marvel, Mystery Oil, and Honey. We're gonna let them duke it out for about two or three minutes to see which one is gonna win. I don't wanna kill this engine. If this engine's gonna run, we'll just run it for a couple minutes and then we'll shut it down. Honey is definitely not a very good engine oil substitute. Please do not try this. This will definitely ruin an engine. It did turn into an epic showdown between Marvel Mystery Oil and Honey, and it appears that Marvel Mystery Oil prevailed. Now the engine, once it cools off again, it may not want to spin too freely, but I am looking for your future video ideas on what to do with this engine next. It only has maybe one or two more videos left in it, and then it's probably done. This engine is in bad condition. Anyway, I have a lot of fun doing these videos. You guys recommended this one, so thank you very much. Please keep those recommendations coming, and I'll keep making videos. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.